Okay, so yeah, as, as David mentioned today, I am going to yeah, tell you a little bit about uh, everything Microsoft AI agent type spell tools and licensing. And but before, because this is my first uh, ever community call, I would say that I wanted to start with really thank you. Thank you for being that awesome all the years. Thank you for helping me and many, many other being very successful over the years. You are doing a great job. Please just to keep it going. You are Eurox. So with this kind of introduction, let me uh, introduce myself a little bit. My name is Mahmoud Hassan. I am a modern workplace evangelist, business leader and architect. I'm also Microsoft MVP and working at Avanad and uh, currently, I am. If, if you are following me, you will find that I am sharing my uh, yeah long articles and so on, and at LinkedIn for uh, short updates, you will can find me over X and uh, Blue Sky. So, this is very short uh, introduction about myself, and let me go directly uh, to it. So. As we are talking today about everything Microsoft AI agent, and also we are going to discuss license. First of all, I want to say that I am not a license expert. This is why everything I'm going to say about license, you need to think about that is coming from AI agent that you need to review and validate with your uh, Microsoft account licensing team before starting any project. And the second main point that I wanted to start with that from Microsoft point of view, from end user perspective, it is always just agent. So. Today we are talking about different type. We are talking about declarative. We are talking about custom engine agent, but actually this is for us as a pro code or low code uh, builder, just to understand the options, the different types, the license and so on. But from end user perspective, it is just agent. And just to go directly to it as, as discussed for now, we have two main types. We have declarative agent and we have custom engine agent. And when it's come to declarative agent, this is where, where you just customized by some kind of custom structure, your co-pilot stack, uh, which is available with MCD65 co-pilot and maybe adding some kind of action and so on, but actually you are not having some kind of deep customization or bringing your own model and so on. If you need this kind of options and uh, flexibility, you need to go to custom engine agent and we are going to dive deep a little bit more about this in a second. So let me start in the left, at least from my side, was declarative agent. And actually, from a declarative agent perspective, we have different type. And let me take you through it. Let me start at the top here with a completely free option from Microsoft. So this is a new product, new completely free thing from Microsoft, Microsoft 365 Copilot Chat, that you can get it with any M365 SQ containing intra ID. And at the beginning, this kind of agent it is available within uh, Cobalo chat part of this uh, free offering and actually the agent is completely free when you are reasoning over web data or you are reasoning over uploaded files you are uploading it to the agent context or even when you are building some kind of actions or aka abi plugins that you can connect it to uh, any line of business application and as you can see, we have a lot of flexibility. We have uh, option to really build very complex agent with this kind of completely free SQ. But once you need some kind of more uh, capability, once you need to have some kind of uh, more reasoning over your M365 uh, work data, and just to be specific, we are talking here about SharePoint and OneDrive uh, data and uh, data coming from a uh, line of business application or external line of business application using the Microsoft Graph Connector, or maybe also you need to use one of the low code actions from Cobalt Studio. This is where you need to have some kind of uh, premium license over your free license. And for this, we have two types, Cobalt Studio, be as you go plan, or maybe even uh, the message backs uh, part of the Cobalt Studio. And I wanted to explain that actually you can have some kind of different combination between these two. So maybe you can just completely go bay as you go plan. Maybe you can go completely message back only, or maybe you can start with message back. And when your message is completely consumed, you can just configure it to then consumed from uh, bay as you go. Just a pro tip for you for you here. How Microsoft is designed this feature that to enable in any this of kind combination, you need initially to start with enabling the bay as you go plan, because in the background, Microsoft is provisioning the special uh, Cobalo chat environment inside Power Platform, and this is needed to configure any of this. Maybe in the future, Microsoft will have a different configuration option to just enable this kind of environment, and then you can, from the start, just to go to message back without enabling uh, bay as you go in the first place. So 
This is the different options we have uh, right now with M365 Copilot Chat. From a build tools perspective, we can build uh, agent uh, in Copilot Chat using Teams toolkit. We can build it also using the agent builder within uh, the Copilot Chat experience. Or maybe if you go to Copilot Studio, but actually you need to be careful here because if you go to the agent menu and build by default agent, this will be custom engine. And this is where you will find that in the top, you have different tabs and you have topics that you can create topics, trigger and so on. This is not the declarative agent. If you want to build a declarative agent with the full Copilot Studio, you need to go and find your M365 Copilot within this kind of experience, click on it and within the M365 Copilot context, you will find another tab called the agent. This is where you go and and build the agent and to understand you are in the agent you will be able just to define instruction you define action and that's it you so you will not find all the other uh, option like uh, creating topics and so on and so forth from a channel perspective currently with m365 copilot chat you can just publish your agent to the copilot chat and you don't have any other options than this this is everything we have for m365 copilot chat and once you want to to have more, you can just enable the M365 Copilot license, and this is where we are moving to the second part we have in our presentation here. So this is where your user have M365 Copilot license, and everything that we discussed uh, before will be available by default. So you can reasoning whatever over web data, you can reasoning over M365 uh, Copilot data, and so on. And actually, for this kind of, of uh, tools, you have the same uh, build tools, you have Teams Toolkit, Agent Builder, and also the same with the Cobalt Studio uh, accessibility story. What is, you have more in this kind of uh, licensing when you have M365 Cobalt license is that you have more channels in this kind of situation. So you have, beside publishing it to Cobalt Chat, you can also publish to Word and PowerPoint with a vision from Microsoft that uh, actually this kind of agent will be available anywhere you have uh, uh, the Cobalt experience enabled. So maybe more uh, Office application and so on in the future. For Cobalt, for M365 uh, Cobalt Chat, the free one, and the M365 Cobalt, from a channel perspective, there is a new channel that will come soon uh, and it will be enabled for us soon, which is the team group chat. So soon we will be able to publish our agent uh, to a team group chat, and this will open another uh, productivity channels that you can just share your uh, agent in. So this is this is the M365 Cobalt license. And then I will move to uh, the third one. One of my favorite uh, Cobalt agent is the SharePoint agent. This is where you can build agent, which is available inside your uh, SharePoint site and so on. From a license perspective, again, this come for free with the M365 Cobalt license. But actually, also, if you don't want to license everyone with MCD65 Cobalt, you can also go pay as you go. And again, another pro tip for you here, the SharePoint agent pay as you go license is a little bit different than the Cobalt chat one because it's follow the SharePoint pay as you go plan in general, which is the premium syntax pay as you go. So in, with this kind of plan, you need to go and uh, enable this within your M365 admin center uh, within the Bay as you go service uh, in the admin center. From a build tools perspective, you have the SharePoint embedded builder, which is, I would say, a little bit variant of, of uh, our agent builder. So you will not find all uh, the information or all uh, the capability which is available for agent builder with uh, SharePoint uh, embedded builder uh, nowadays. But yeah. It, it will come soon and soon also uh, SharePoint agent will be enabled to be extended by uh, Cobalt Studio to have actions, which is I really uh, looking forward because it will open a lot of accessibility uh, platform for uh, SharePoint, I would say. So this, this, is, this is everything we have uh, regarding declarative agent and I want to say at the end that once SharePoint declarative agent to get announced, a lot of people in the market was saying, yeah, this is very simple. This is some kind of mega uh, prompt and that's it. And we can have some kind of advanced use cases implemented with declarative agent. To be honest, from the beginning, I was not convinced with this kind of a statement. This is why I was pushing it to the max. And if anyone is telling you this nowadays, you can say that now we have with declarative agent, a multi-agent orchestration agent built. And also we have a declarative agent who can sink deep connecting uh, to some kind of a reasoning model in the background. So 
you can build a very, very advanced uh, use case with declarative agent. You just, you just need to think about declarative agent and its instruction as some kind of instruction that orchestrate the Cobalt stack, bringing it to your agent as an agent stack as a service. So this, once you, you, you sort it from this kind of, of perspective, you can build really a very advanced uh, use case with declarative agent where your language skills to write English, your uh, ABI landscape, and your imagination is the limit here. So this is everything we have regarding declarative agent, but to be completely fair here, sometimes you will hit a limit. Sometimes you have some kind of a use case when you want to summarize your whole week meetings and create some kind of report. You need an agent to help you with this. And maybe you know that we have some kind of limit with the search tool inside Cobalot that it can't retrieve more than 10 items in, in, in the single shot. Maybe you need to have all your emails and this is where declarative agent may not work. Maybe also you have some kind of use case when you wanted to have full control over your agent response to you. So something that the Cobalt Studio team saying as a user response. So you need to, to have a response over uh, some kind of uh, uh, HR policy or whatever. Or maybe also you need to publish to a different channel than the one we have available here. This is where you need to go and you need to jump to the custom engine agent when you need to have more control. And the first place you land is the Cobalt Studio. And this is where also everything that we discussed about declarative agent also available for Cobalt Studio. So you have the be you go, biz as you go plan, you have the message pack, and also you have some kind of seeded uh, license experience uh, with M365 Cobalt license when you can only create agent with the uh, classic, I would say, orchestration and only Microsoft team channel. With this kind of agent, the build tool, as you can imagine, it is just a Cobalt Studio. And from a channel perspective, you can publish to a lot of a channel, as you can see, Teams, uh, Web, Mobile, and Facebook. And also for other channels, you can also go with Azure Pod service and, and, and so on. So you have a lot of flexibility and also one of the most requested channel uh, for Cobalt Studio, it will come this year with WhatsApp and SMS using the Azure communication service integration with Cobalt Studio. So a lot of flexibility, a lot of uh, more control uh, to build advanced use case. But again, sometimes you really need to go very deep. You need to go advanced. You need to have control over everything in your stack from the infrastructure. You need to build your Azure because you are thinking about every millisecond. You need to have your own orchestration, semantic kernel, link chain, or UI, whatever you want. And this is where you need to go with custom engine agent over Azure. This is where you maybe build from, uh, have uh, like uh, LMM from Azure AI Foundry or something. And then you have different tool to build like VS Code, Visual Studio. And then again, from a channel perspective, it is completely open for you. You can publish to any channel. And with this kind of, of custom engine agent over Azure, you can even build unconventional uh, AI agent when you have agent in the background that is power what I'm calling agentic experience. So you can build some kind of experience that get its data from agent in the background and you don't need to build agentic uh, workflow or chat uh, workflow in the first place. So I think this is all from my side. This is the different options we have for uh, Microsoft AI agent. I hope that you learned something new. I will be back in the background in chat, answer uh, any questions that you may have and thank you. Uh, and uh, looking forward to come again and uh, discuss with this group. Thank you, everyone, and to my to the next presenter. Yeah.